So after all the leaks, the hype render and the buy meme on Twitter, yes, it will always be Twitter. Finally, we have the Nothing Phone 2A. This comes with MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro, 120Hz OLED display, 50 megapixel main camera, 50 megapixel ultra wide, and of course, the glyph light. Pretty much everything was leaked and we covered it in our upcoming video. But now, the question that has to be asked is, how good is the Nothing Phone 2A? How are the cameras? And most importantly, why this Nothing Phone 2A? Well, we shall find it out together. Let's go. Looks like it's going to be eco-friendly unboxing. You get this box inside, it has this textured design of the Nothing Phone 2A. It looks like that cartoon owl. If you see? <laughs> Inside you get the phone, a Type-C to Type-C cable with the see-through design, some paperwork and a unique looking SIM ejector tool. Now this Phone 2A is not an upgrade to Nothing's Phone 2. It's like an affordable offering from Nothing, something what Google does with the Pixel A series or iPhone does with the iPhone SE series. Now, while using the phone for a couple of days, there are three really interesting things that makes the phone 2A an interesting phone. Coming on to the hot topic of this phone, design. I believe looks of the phone is where nothing stand out and it is kind of the same. You have the same see-through design, on the back you have this big circular disc with the cameras placed at the center, flashlight on the top and on the outer side around the circular disc you have these glyph lights. Now compared to the previous nothing phones, the glyph light area isn't that big. Now there are only three strips of glyph light here, when there is a phone call, all the glyph lights glow. The bottom left glyph is for notifications and the right side glyph is for the essential notification. Now you must be thinking Pratik, what is essential notification? Well you can add some apps from which the notifications are important to you. So suppose notifications from Slack, which is like a messaging app for work that we use, are important in my case. And now when I get a notification from Slack, the essential notification light constantly glows until I open and read the notification or just swipe away the notification, the glyph will always glow. The top left corner is the progress bar. In this, you can set a glyph timer where it shows the countdown in the glyph. Also, this glyph timer supports third-party app like Uber and Zomato. So now we are in the middle of nowhere. We'll book an Uber ride and test this feature. So I'll just do an Uber Moto because save petrol, save money. And now see my ride is two minutes away. And now if I turn to the back of my phone, see the glyph timer is not working. And we have tried this multiple times offline with Zomato and Uber. For some reason, these third-party apps don't work on the glyph timer. So again, there has to be an update. Funny thing, the Uber guy also cancelled our ride. So. Now the frame is made up of plastic, but it has this textured finish with power button on the left and the volume buttons are on the right. The buttons are made up of anodized aluminium. But when you press the button, see here, there's hardly any sound. They aren't that clicky. Now, at first glance, the design might seem different. We asked on Twitter, some people like it, some people don't. Personally, I feel it looks different. The black color is not that transparent. The white is like full on transparent. I feel the white color will grab more attention in public. And the phone is big. But since the back is now plastic, it feels lighter. Like see, it weighs in around only 190-ish grams. My only concern is, Plastic is more scratch prone, so how this thing will look in a year or two is to be seen. The second thing is, this is first nothing phone to come with a MediaTek chip. Now, I recently read, as per IDC, in India, 50% of the smartphones shipped now have MediaTek chips. I think MediaTek is much more popular in this under 20, 30,000 series. Now, the phone 2A comes with MediaTek 7200 Pro, 12 GB RAM, 250 GB storage. The base variant starts with 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage. Now, we ran all the benchmarks. It scored about 6,84,092, which is an app that gives overall score to the phone, CPU, RAM, etc. There's also no CPU throttling. All green so in terms of performance it is definitely better than nothing phone one and good for what you get in this 25,000 segment now benchmarks are benchmarks how does the phone perform in practical day-to-day -day usage of course like opening apps reading articles watching some YouTube videos scrolling through social media it can handle all of that pretty well now there is one thing that I was concerned about usually MediaTek processors don't have good game settings the FPS support is not there so we check that and here in COD you can play maximum at very high graphics and very high frame rate which is 60 FPS and in BGMI you can go HDR graphics at 40 FPS or if you go down to smooth graphics then you get 60 FPS and the gameplay overall was smooth in my limited usage also the phone 2A comes with a 50 megapixel main camera with OIS and 50 megapixel ultra wide angle camera in terms of photos here's what I have seen like it takes that contrasty punchy photos and even in portrait mode if you see the blur is gradual if you look at the floor below me it slowly gets blurred with the things in my background. However, we have noticed that it is inconsistent. Like if you see this photo, this is taken back to back. One of the photos look like this and one of the photos look like this. So the consistency of the camera needs to be worked on. And again, in some of the portrait photos, the edge detection could have been better. And the same 
सेम स्टोरी कंटिन्यूज इन लो लाइट फोटोज एंड नाइट मोड लाइक द फोटोज कम आउट ब्राइट एंड गुड अगेन इट गेट्स इनकन्सिस्टेंट एट टाइम दिस लो लाइट फोटो इज टेकन बैक टू बैक वन ऑफ दम लुक ब्राइट एंड वन ऑफ दम लुक डर इन टर्म्स ऑफ वीडियो यू कैन डू मैक्सिम फोर के थर्टी एफ पीएस एंड दिस वीडियो क्वालिटी एंड द माइक एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेल्फी यू गेट अ थर्टी टू मेगा पिक्सल सेल्फी कैमरा एंड इट कैन डू मैक्सिम टेन ए टी पी थर्टी एफ पी एस एंड ऑल्सो टू कलर ऑफ सेल्फीज एंड द गुड थिंग इज द स्किन टोन इन द सेल्फीज लुक क्वाइट नेचुरल सो सेल्फीज आर गुड ना बिफोर वी गेट टू द कंक्लूजन यू गेट एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन विद नथिंग ओ एस टू पॉइंट फाइव आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स नॉट लेटली नथिंग ओ एस हेज बी डूंग ग्रेट वर्क लाइक सी हियर यू कैन एड विजेट्स ऑन द लॉक स्क्रीन नाउ आई हैव एडेड दिस टॉर्च विजेट एंड ऑल्सो दर इज द स्क्रीन टाइम विजेट टू कट डाउन माई फोन टाइम यूजेज वेन एवर आई सी इज गोइंग अबाउट थ्री आर्स आई यूज माई फोन टेस्ट नाउ दिस वन थिंग दट आई नोटिस सो सी here we have a similar price range phone here and they are both connected to the same wifi we'll run download test and multiple time if you see the phone 2s download speeds are better now the point here is there is good cell reception and network connectivity i live in a area where i don't get proper network coverage which leads to a lot of missed calls and all of that so i didn't face any problem here on the nothing phone 2a having said that there are a few bugs in this phone like see here after i installed whatsapp the app kept crashing or the back gesture just doesn't work in call of duty i have to say these issues were fixed by not one but two software updates we'll try to update all of those bugs and everything in the full review 10000 likes we do it let us know which phone do you want us to compare this with and in terms of display you get a 6.7 inch 120 hertz amoled display and the refresh rate can dynamically switch between 60 90 120 as you can see however one weird thing that i noticed in always on display the refresh rate constantly sticks at 120 hertz so i believe that should be fixed via software update also the peak brightness of the display is 1300 nits and in our testing also the display showed 1300 nits finally a company's claim matches our testing and in terms of battery you get a 5000 mAh battery so on a medium usage you can easily go through the day and you get 45 watt fast charging so it goes 100% in about 35 40 minutes so in my usage here's what i think about the nothing phone 2a see it is very similar to the pixel a series and iphone se series concept but here's why i believe it is better for example pixel a series launches around 40 45000 or let's take iphone se the 64 gigabyte variant is priced at 50000 rupees like what phone at 50000 looks like this point here is if you compare these google's and apple's affordable version they offer far inferior hardware specs when you compare it to xiaomi iqoo oneplus samsung and all of that but the nothing phone 2a has got at least that right if it releases at around 20 5000 it is on par with the competition like it has a unique design good performance good battery and charging decent enough camera and very clean software so let us know what are your thoughts on the nothing phone 2a in the comments below on that note we'll be signing off see you pretty soon and just do that saver like tick 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 pew pew